With Jupyter Notebooks inside PyCharm, you can combine everything you know and love from Jupyter Notebooks with powerful IDE features. Code completion, interactive visualizations, and integrations all combine to give you a deeper understanding of your data and boost your productivity. Create your notebook on a local machine or alternatively, connect to a remote Jupyter Notebook inside PyCharm. I'm going to work with an existing notebook where I've already imported my data so I can show you some cool tricks. Let's create a pandas data frame here so we can start exploring. You can easily scroll through and sort it by column in this view. Let's take a look at dynamic plots and what they can offer you. Click the chart view icon and PyCharm will generate a dynamic chart that you can then use to explore your data. Let's change our X axis to time year and our Y axis to flights cancelled. You can change the chart type and hover over areas to get more information as you explore and dig into your data. And yes, it works exactly the same way for polars as well. Let's import polars, rerun the cell, and here we can change our data frame to polars, click chart view, and explore your data in the same way as we did with pandas. We can even make the same chart view and change our X and Y axis as we did before. Let's use JetBrains AI Assistant to see some of the ways that it can help and support you with your Jupyter Notebooks. Perhaps you have a data frame like our pandas one, but you're not really sure where to start. In that case, you can click on Explain Data Frame and let JetBrains AI Assistant help you out. You can also use JetBrains AI Assistant to create some code for you. For example, let's ask it to use matplotlib to create a chart that finds the relationship between time month name and minutes delayed weather. By specifying the column names, we're giving more context to this request. Great, we'll paste that code in, run the cell, and here's our chart. You can also interact with JetBrains AI Assistant from your Jupyter cell by clicking on the same purple icon and asking your question. For example, the same one we just asked, we can ask here. Once the code has been generated, you can click accept and run. Lastly, if you have an error in your notebook like the one I've just created here, you can click the explain with AI button to get some pointers on what the problem might be. So what else can we do with our Jupyter notebooks inside PyCharm? Well, by default, new cells are for code, but you can change them to be marked down. Add your text, add tables, which of course PyCharm will format nicely for you, and add your images too. Your efficiency and your productivity matter. So here are some ways that you can use Jupyter Notebooks inside PyCharm to go faster. Features such as structure view for header navigation are helpful to get an overall view of longer notebooks. You can also right click on a cell and select add cell tag and see the tags as you scroll through your notebook. You can boost your coding speed in Jupyter Notebooks with PyCharm's code completion. You can also benefit from local AI powered full line code completion suggestions. With PyCharm refactoring, you can also easily rename variables as well as a host of all the other refactorings that you'd expect from your IDE. You should also keep an eye on your problem widget because this tells you where the problems might be in your code. You can often use context actions to fix issues quickly, such as removing unused imports. Debugging is part of our workflow, and of course, you can debug your Jupyter Notebooks as well. Add a breakpoint by clicking in the gutter, and then you can run it with PyCharm's powerful debugger to help get to the root of the problem. Integrations are another crucial part of our daily workflow, and we have two exciting new integrations to tell you about. First, you can now integrate with Databricks, meaning you can access your Databricks cluster and run your notebook as a job. Second, you can now integrate with Hugging Face more easily, giving you access to pre-trained models and information about them, as well as seeing what models you have already installed. Not all of our notebooks are in version control, but even if they're not, PyCharm has you covered. If you've made some changes, but realized that you actually created the best version yesterday, you can use PyCharm's local history to step back in time. As you'd expect, PyCharm has built-in support for various BCS integrations, including Git, so you can easily compare versions and share the results of your work with your team. Of course, when you're ready to share your masterpiece, you have options there as well. You can export the data in various formats, save your plots as images, 
and open your notebook with just one click. If you want, you can go ahead and convert your notebook files into Python scripts as well. Everything I've shown in this video is just the tip of the iceberg. Go ahead, download PyCharm Professional to transform your data science workflow and boost your productivity.